Oh dear students, for oh today we will see some multiple choice questions on Othevanin's theorem and Norton's theorem in this second part of our communication systems multiple choice questions. So let's start with the topic DCT or communication systems part 2 in which we are going to see network theorems and specifically here we are going to see Othevanin's theorem and Norton's theorem. So let's start with this multiple choice questions. So our first question, that is question number 21. Or calculate the Thevenin's resistance across the terminal AB for the following circuit. Now here we see terminal AB at the output. So here is terminal A and this is terminal B. So here we can see terminal B. Now we have to calculate the Thevenin's resistance from this point. From this point, if you see inside, what is the Thevenin's resistance? So here, if you see from here, then a resistor 1 ohm and resistor 2 ohm will come in parallel. And this parallel combination will come in series with the 3 ohm resistor. So we can uh, calculate the resistance from terminal AB, which can be called as Thevenin uh, resistance as follows. That is Thevenin's resistance RTH is equal to, we'll be having one ohm and two ohm in parallel. So it is equivalent, our uh, resistance is one into two upon one plus two. And this will be in series combination with three. So plus three, this is nothing but 2 upon 3 plus 3. This is nothing but 2 plus 9 upon 3. This is nothing but 11 upon 3, which is nothing but 3.67 ohms. So the answer here will be option B, that is 3.67 ohms, which will be the equivalent resistance what we see from terminals AB into the circuit. So here you can see the explanation. Thevenin's resistance is found by opening the circuit between the specified terminal and shorting all voltage sources. When the 10 volt source is shorted, we get RTH is equal to one ohm resistor parallel with two ohm resistor plus three ohm resistor. This is nothing but 3.67 ohm. So here option B, 3.67 ohm will be the correct answer. But then we'll go to the next question. Or calculate VTH, that is a Thevenin's voltage for the given circuit. Now in this circuit, we have terminals A and B here. So here you can see we are having terminal A. So this is terminal A and this is terminal B. Now, if we remove the 4 ohm resistor, then whatever voltage we get across these two terminals will be the Thevenin's voltage. Now, to calculate that voltage, we should know what is the voltage across this 2 ohm resistor. So, to calculate the voltage across 2 ohm resistor, we should know what is the current in this loop. Now, to find out the current in the loop, we have this current in the loop I is equal to 10 volt voltage upon 1 ohm resistor plus 2 ohm resistor. This is nothing but 10 upon 3. This is nothing but uh, 3 3 is a 9.0 3 3 is a 9. So around 3.3 ampere will be the current flowing in the first loop. Now that current multiplied by 2 ohm resistor will give you the Thevenin's voltage. So Thevenin's voltage will be nothing but the current 3.3 ampere multiplied by 2 ohm resistor which is nothing but around 6.67 volt. So VTH that is the Thevenin's voltage is 6.67 volt. So option C will be the right answer here. So option C is the right answer. So here you can see the explanation 4 ohm a uh, resistor is removed and then voltage across the 2 ohm is calculated by voltage divider that is 10 upon 3 into 2 is equal to 6.67 volt 
voltage between A and B, that is VTH is equal to voltage across 4 ohm resistance since no current flowing through 3 ohm resistance. So VTH is equal to 6.67 volt. So here option C, that is 6.67 volt, will be the correct answer. Then we'll go to the next question. A calculate the current across 4 ohm resistor. So if you want to calculate the current across 4 ohm resistor, that means we are speaking here, what is the current flowing in this 4 ohm resistor. Now to know this, we should have the equivalent circuit of, of Thevenin. So we know that Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance we should have. So VTH and RTH. So we, we have seen that RTH value and VTH value in our first two questions. So in the first question, we saw RTH value where RTH was nothing but 1 ohm and 2 ohm in parallel. These two in parallel plus in series with the 3 ohm. So we got RTH is equal to RTH is equal to 2 into 1 upon 2 plus 1 plus 3, which was nothing but 2 upon 3 plus 3 which was nothing but 2 plus 9 upon 3, which is nothing but 11 upon 3, which was nothing but 3 3 is a 9, point zero, 3 6 is a 18, 2 0, that is 3 6 is 18, so it was around 3.67 ohms. So RTH was 3.67 ohms. And then we also saw in the second question, what was VTH? VTH was nothing but 10 volt upon 1 plus 2 current multiplied by 2 so that was nothing but 10 upon 3 multiplied by 2 that was nothing but 3 3 is a 9 uh, point zero, 3, 3 is a 9 into 2 that was nothing but 6.67 volts okay now when we have the voltage as 6.67 volt vth so that vth upon 3 ohm uh, a VTH upon RTH plus 4 ohm will give us the current and that will be the current which is flowing through the 4 ohm resistor. So VTH is nothing but 6.67 6.67 upon RTH was 3.67 plus 4. So this is nothing but 6.67 upon 7.67. So it is nothing but 0 0.86 ampere so here it is 0 0.86 ampere so option a will be the right answer here so 0 0.86 so this is the right answer 0 0.86 ampere is the current which is flowing through 4 ohm resistor so here you can see the complete explanation thevenin's or resistance is found by opening the circuit between the specified terminal and shorting all voltage sources when the 10 volt source is shorted, we get RTH as 3.67 ohm. VTH is calculated by opening the specified terminal using voltage divider. VTH we get as 6.67. So on drawing the Thevenin's equivalent circuit, we get RTH as 4 ohm and VTH in series. So applying Ohm's law, we get the current is equal to VTH upon 4 plus RTH, which is nothing but 0 0.86 ampere. So here option A, that is 0 0.86 ampere is the correct answer then we'll go to the next question the thevenin's voltage is the dash so options are open circuit voltage short circuit voltage open circuit and short circuit voltage neither open circuit nor short circuit so if we see the thevenin's voltage whenever we want to calculate at the end at the output terminal we keep the terminal open and then we see the, the voltage from that point and that is the voltage what we get. So it is an open circuit voltage. So option A is the right answer here, open circuit voltage. So here you can see explanation. Thevenin's voltage is obtained by opening the specified terminals. So it is open circuit voltage. It is not the short circuit voltage because if specified terminals are shorted, voltage is equal to zero. So it is an open circuit voltage. So here option A that is open circuit voltage is the right answer. 
then we'll go to the next question resistance thevenin's resistance is found by shorting all voltage sources opening all current sources shorting all voltage sources and opening all current sources opening all voltage sources and shorting all current sources so here option c is the right answer thevenin's resistance is found by shorting all voltage sources and opening all current sources so option c is the right answer here so here you can see explanation ideal current source have infinite internal resistance hence behaves like an open circuit whereas ideal voltage source have zero internal resistance hence behave as a short circuit so here we see option c as right answer thevenin's resistance is found by shorting all voltage sources and opening all current sources then we'll go to the next question question number 26 a thevenin's theorem is true for dash option a is linear network option b is non linear network option c is both linear network and non linear network and option d is neither linear network nor non linear network so here the option a is the right answer thevenin's theorem is true for linear network so here you can see explanation thevenin's theorem works for only linear circuit elements and not for non linear ones such as bjt semiconductors etc so it works only for linear elements so here you can see thevenin's theorem is true for linear networks then we'll go to the next question in a thevenin's theorem vth is dash sum of two voltage sources a single voltage source infinite voltage source or zero obviously we in in a thevenin's theorem we see that when we get the equivalent circuit at the end it is a voltage source in series with the resistance so it is vth is a single voltage source so option b will be the right answer here a single voltage source so here you can see explanation thevenin's theorem states that a combination of voltage sources current sources and resistor is equivalent to a single voltage source v and a single resistor r then we'll go to the next question so here you can see that option b is the right answer a single voltage source in a thevenin's theorem vth is dash a single voltage source and then we'll go to the next question vth is found across the dash terminals of the network obviously it is found across the output terminals of the network so here option b will be the right answer output vth is found across the output terminals of the network so here can, we can have explanation according to thevenin's theorem vth is found across the output terminals of a network and not the input terminals so here you can see option b is the right answer that is output then we'll go to the next question which of the following is also known as dual of thevenin's theorem so we have studied thevenin's theorem and norton's theorem and we have seen that dual of thevenin's theorem is the norton theorem so option a will be the right answer here norton's theorem so the dual of thevenin's theorem is norton theorem so here you can see explanation norton's theorem is also known as the dual of thevenin's theorem because in norton's theorem we find short circuit current which is the dual of the open circuit voltage what we find in thevenin's theorem so here we can see option a that is the norton's theorem which is the dual of thevenin's theorem is the right answer then we'll go to the next question can we use a thevenin's theorem on a circuit containing bjt now bjt is a non linear device and a thevenin's theorem are true for linear circuits so bjt a uh, circuit we cannot use a thevenin's theorem on that so option b is the right answer no so we cannot use thevenin's theorem on a circuit containing bjt so here we can see explanation we can use a thevenin's theorem only for linear network bjt is a non linear network hence we cannot apply thevenin's theorem for it so here option b no will be the right answer then we'll go to the next question a thevenin's equivalent circuit consists of option a is voltage source in series with the resistor a current source in parallel with the resistor voltage source in parallel with the resistor current source in series with the resistor so from this options option a is the right answer it is voltage source in series with the resistor so a thevenin's equivalent circuit consists of a voltage source in series with the resistor so here you can see option a is the right answer then we'll go to the next question norton's equivalent circuit consists of so here when we compare a thevenin's circuit and norton circuit in norton circuit we have a current source in parallel with the resistor 
So out of these options, option B will be the right answer. It is current source in parallel with the resistor. Whereas in Thevenin's we had voltage source in series with the resistor. So here option B that is not as equal circuit consists of current source in parallel with the resistor is the right answer. So here you can see option B is the right answer. Then we will go to the next question, question number 33. Open circuit voltage is equivalent voltage in which theorem? So options are Thevenin's theorem, Norton's theorem, Coulomb's theorem, none of the above. So it is obviously open circuit voltage is equivalent voltage in Thevenin's theorem. So option A is the right answer here. So here you can see option A, Thevenin's theorem is the right answer. Then we will go to the next question, question number 34. Norton's current is equal to short circuit voltage, open circuit current, open circuit voltage or short circuit current. So here option D is the right answer. Norton's current is equal to short circuit current. So option D is the right answer here, short circuit current. Next we'll go to the next question, question number 35. Find the voltage across 24 ohm resistor by using Thevenin's theorem. So here we see the circuit and in this circuit we see the 24 ohm resistor here at this place and we want to find out the voltage across 24 ohm resistor. So this voltage we have to find out. Now for this voltage first we will find out what is VTH, we will find out what is RTH and then we will find out what is uh, the uh, voltage across 24 ohm resistor. So here first we will find out what is the current in this loop. So that current in the loop will be nothing but 10 volt upon 2 ohm plus 12 ohm resistors. So this is nothing but 10 ohm, 10 volt upon 14 ohms. This is nothing but 0 0.714 ampere. Now we get the current here and that current multiplied by 12 ohm. So 0 0.714 multiplied by 12 ohm will give you around 8.57 volt. So that is the voltage across this terminal here. That is 8.57 volt. 8.57 volt. Okay. So that voltage will be your Thevenin's voltage. So there you can take this voltage as Thevenin's voltage VTH is equal to 8.57 volt. Then if you see the Thevenin's R resistance RTH will be nothing but 12 ohm in parallel with 2 ohm. So it is 12 into 2 upon 12 plus 2. It is nothing but 24 upon 14. Okay. So this 24 upon 14 is nothing but if you calculate that. So 24 upon 14 it is nothing but 24 divided by 14 is 1.17. So this is 1.17 ohms. Okay, now we are having RTH and VTH. So this will be VTH. This will be RTH. So this is around 8. Point, this is around 8.57 volt, and this is around 1.71 ohms. So this will be in series with the resistance of 24 ohms. So now to find the voltage across 24 ohms, we have to find out the current here. Now this current will be nothing but I is equal to 8.57 volt upon 1.17 plus 24. This is nothing but 8.57 upon 25.71 and this is nothing but 0 0.23. So here we get 0 0.23 amperes now this multiplied by 24 this multiplied by r24 will get around 8 volt as the answer so here option b that is 8 volt will be the correct answer so here you can see the explanation remove r24 ohm resistor and calculate the voltage across the open circuit calculate the thevenin's resistance and by using it the Thevenin's current and then we'll get the voltage across 24 ohm resistor and that voltage is nothing but 8 volt. So here option B is the right answer that is 8 volt.
then we'll go to the next question the voltage across 6 ohm resistor so here we have to find out the voltage across 6 ohm R resistor so again here we have to find out the VTH so for to find out VTH find out the current through this so this current in the first loop will be nothing but 20 volt upon 5 plus 10 that is nothing but 20 upon 15 okay and that is nothing but if you see 20 upon 15 1.33 so this is nothing but 1.33 ampere so 1.33 multiplied by 10 ohm will give you around 13.33 volt so vth is equal to 13.33 volt now if you have vth then if you want to calculate the rth then rth will be rth is nothing but 5 into 10 upon 5 plus 10 which is nothing but 50 upon 15 which is nothing but we can have 3.33 this is nothing but 3.33 now rth and vth are having so 6 ohm resistance will be in series with rth so the current in that loop will be nothing but vth upon rth plus 6 ohm that is nothing but uh, we have 13.33 upon uh, rth is nothing but 3.33 plus 6 this is nothing but 13.33 upon 9.33 this is nothing but 1.4 this is 1.4 ampere and this multiplied by 6 ohm will get 1.4 multiplied by 6 will get around 8.57 volt 8.57 volt so option d will be the right answer here 8.57 volt so here you can have the explanation remove the resistor across which voltage is to be calculated and short circuited by using short circuit current and resistance calculate the current across 6 ohm resistor and thereby voltage so here we will get the answer d as the answer 8.5 volt now we will go to the next question or calculate rth for the network given below so if you see this network there is a current source and there is a voltage source so if you uh, open this a current source so this a current source can be opened so here you can see this a current source can be opened and this voltage short can be shorted then what will remain is 5 ohm resistor 20 ohm resistor and 3 ohm resistor so here we will be having 5 here we will be having 20 and here we will be having 3 so this is what we have to find out here what is the Thevenin's resistance here so here it will be 20 and 5 will be in parallel so 20 into 5 upon 25 plus 3 it is nothing but 100 upon 25 plus 3 this is nothing but 100 plus 75 upon 25 this is nothing but 175 upon or 25 this is nothing but around 7 ohms so this is 7 ohms so option b will be the right answer here 7 ohms so here you can see option b is the right answer that is 7 ohms then we'll go to the next question question number 38 now here we have to find out the parameters of the thevenin's equivalent circuit for the network shown below now here if you see the uh, resistance that is rth can be given as so here if you see R RTH can be given as a 10 ohm resistor in parallel with 15 ohm resistor so 10 into 15 upon 10 plus 15 this is nothing but 150 upon 25 this is nothing but around 6 6 ohms so rth is equal to 6 ohms so here in the option we have 6 ohms of our option 3 and option 4 we are having 6 ohm rth then to find out vth we can apply uh, here for this here we can apply a kvl so kvl can be applied here so kirchhoff's voltage law if you apply you will get the equation as minus 50 volt 
plus 10 into i the ampere plus 15 into i the ampere plus 100 volt so this will be equal to 0 this is nothing but 25 i is equal to minus 50 this is nothing but i is equal to minus 50 upon 25 this is nothing but minus 2 ampere so here we are having minus 2 ampere now here to calculate the Thevenin's voltage vth is equal to vab which is nothing but 50 minus 10 i which is nothing but 50 minus 10 into minus 2 which is nothing but 50 plus 20 which is nothing but 70 volt so here option 3 that is rth is 6 ohm and vth is equal to 70 volt is the right answer so here you can see option 3 is the right answer then we'll go to the next question question number 39 Norton's equivalent resistance is the dash as Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So it is same. So option B is the right answer here. Norton's equivalent resistance is same as the Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So here you can see option B, same is the answer. Then we'll go to the next question, question number 40. Dash theorem is quite useful when the current in one branch of a network is to be determined or when the current in an added branch is to be calculated. So the theorem which is used for this is the Thevenin's theorem. So option B is the right answer, Thevenin's theorem. So here you can see uh, Thevenin's theorem is quite useful when the current in one branch of a network is to be determined or when the current in an added branch is to be calculated. Well, thank you students.